Today I'm opening up five collectible LEGO minifigures. I'll be opening up two LEGO minifigures from Series 24 and three LEGO minifigures from Series 25. I recently just picked all the five of these LEGO minifigures up at a recent trip to my Indigo where I was there testing out the new method of scanning QR codes to see if you can actually identify the minifigures inside these boxes. I got these ones just by doing the old feeling method and I'm hoping that these two minifigures might complete some of the ones that I'm missing from this collection and these are actually my first Series 25 LEGO minifigures yet. I only got three of them because I'm hoping that they're the dinosaur guy, the pet groomer, as well as the train kid, but we'll have to see and that's what this unboxing video is for. Before I do unbox these LEGO minifigures though, I do have one bone to pick. I realized when I got to the cache after spending the last 20 some minutes scanning LEGO minifigures that one of the ones I have chosen actually has already been opened up. This means that somebody has gone into the store and actually opened the box to take a peek at which minifigure was inside. A bunch of the minifigures at the store had already had this happen to them. I thought I avoided them. However, I didn't realize until I got to the cache and at this point it was too late. I was buying the Lego minifigure. So I'm just really hoping that all the parts that are supposed to be in this box for the Lego minifigure are inside but I'm setting myself up for a little disappointment because honestly, who really knows? And of course, I'm gonna save the suspense for the end. I'm gonna open up these two Series 24 minifigures first. So it's been a while since I felt Lego minifigures, but if my feeling skills are correct, inside these minifigures should be the soccer captain as well as the carrot suit guy. Let's take a look and see what's inside this first one here. Based on how skinny the package feels, I feel like this one should be the soccer girl here. Oh, I lied, I lied, I forgot. My mistake guys, so I actually had the soccer girl in my hand because I didn't think I had that Lego minifigure, but then I realized I did have her when I checked Brickset, so I put her back and felt this one instead. I completely, it's been a long day. But you guys can see the minifigure in here is the animal rescue guy. This is the one that I wanted, sorry guys. I totally, that was my bad. The other one should be the carrot guy, but this is the animal rescue guy. This one I really wanted because it comes with the really cute little monkey. So I'm going to assemble him up there. And yeah, I can't believe I, I totally meant to get the soccer one earlier. And then I remembered I already had that minifigure. So I switched it up and got this cutie instead. But as you guys can see, this is the minifigure here. He's pretty cool there because he's got the koala. I don't know why I called it a monkey. I'm pretty sure this is a koala instead, but he's really cool there. He's got the cool pants. Got a sick green torso here. Can't really see it, He's got an ID badge. He's actually holding a piece of grass there. He's got some pretty shaggy blonde hair with a dark green hat with a little logo on it. And then on the back of the minifigure it torso is the big rescue symbol. A very, very cool Lego minifigure. Now this second one here should definitely be the carrot. That one I definitely should not have made a mistake on. That was the one of the ones that I was really going for. There was only one carrot in the entire two cases I was feeling. And I was correct. I was able to successfully feel the carrot here. I especially am really excited about this one because I love collecting all of the Lego food costumes. They've had so many over the years and they never disappoint. So looks like we get this minifigure here. He's wearing the dark green pants with a green torso with some overalls. And he's got some pretty ginger facial hair going on there, which is really cool in two different sides of the face. I guess you could either have this minifigure with a hairpiece on that is red and matches his beard. Or of course you can put it, what I'm going to do, put him in the carrot costume. So this is a really awesome costume here. I'm so excited for it. I think that looks absolutely epic. I'll put him on the base there so you guys can see. And this one also does come with a sign there as well that you can hold up that says farmer's market. So I guess he's like advertising for a farmer's market or something like that. Uh, this one is super cool. I absolutely love it. It's going to go great with the rest of the ones in my Lego city. So now I'm going to open up the minifigure box that I'm a little nervous to open up. This is the one that has been opened previously in store. I am really hoping all of the Lego parts that are supposed to be in here are in here. Since somebody already did the honors for me, I'm just going to continue pulling at the packaging and it looks like the minifigure that is inside here is the train kit. This makes me even a little bit more nervous because you guys can see there are a lot of parts supposed to be included here. But of course I'm not going to know if any are missing until I start building it up. But it turns out I didn't need to worry because not only are all the parts that were supposed to be here are here, there's actually a few extra ones here as well. Although this is only the first of the Series 25 minifigures I've opened up, this actually might be one of the favorites in the series just because it looks so cool and it's such a unique piece. That being said, now that the worry of being missing any parts from that box is over, let me open up the other two as well. As a refresher, this should either be the dog groomer or the dinosaur guy. Oh, and it looks like the QR codes are right for another time. I just opened up the dinosaur minifigure here, which is exactly the one I was going for. So, so far the QR codes are two for two, which is absolutely epic. And here's what this 
really cool minifigure looks like. I love that it's got a tail, it's got so much cool printing, and that headpiece is just absolutely epic. So, so cool. Not sure why they included, you know, two sets of eyes, but still a really cool Lego minifigure nonetheless. And finally, this last minifigure, of course, should be the pet groomer, and if it is, that would make me five for five Lego minifigures today. It would make up for all the years that I've gotten many duplicates when making these unboxing videos. Ooh, guys, I spoke too soon. Oh my god. I will have to check, did I grab the wrong one, or are the QR code methods wrong? I probably realistically just grabbed the wrong one. I meant to grab the pet groomer here, but it looks like I got the gamer girl instead. So let's build her up anyway. I, I literally spoke too soon, and then let me have to get my phone and see, did I actually just scan the wrong QR box, or is it mistaken on here? And there we have it. Although this is not a minifigure I was intending to get today, it is still a very cool Lego minifigure. I love the keyboard and mouse there. She's got a really cool trophy there as well, and you guys can see very cool pink hair and some cool headphone pieces. And it's pretty sick because we actually get an extra mouse and a headphone piece as well. Although this video may not have yielded the exact results that I wanted of these collectible Lego minifigures, considering for four of the five I got the right ones, and for the fifth one I probably screwed it up in store. I was in a a little bit of a rush so I'm not going to reflect that in the other video but theoretically the barcode method does seem to work and that's what I will report in the other video just because I don't want to confuse everybody for something that was probably my user error but two out of the three minifigures are not bad because you can never be perfect if you're making mistakes yourself. Anyway you guys thank you so much for watching today's video and of course thank you so much for checking out the other video as well where I test out to see if the QR code method really does work. If you guys did enjoy of course please don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe and I'm looking forward to seeing you all here in the next video.